Hi, I'm Charlie from Pro One Racing. This is the uh, second in the series on uh, flow testing the cylinder head. Uh, as you've seen in the first uh, video, we uh, uh, flowed the head, and what I've done now is I've took the seats out and I put new seats in here. We spend a lot of time on these heads trying different valve seat angles, radiuses, and things to try to enhance the airflow. And um, I mean, we have hours and hours trying to design and enhance the airflow on this uh, cylinder head. I'm going to go, we're going to go next store here into where the flow bench is at, and I want to show you what results we, we achieved by changing these valve seats. Okay, we had the head on the flow bench here, and I just wanted to show you that I've been trying to get across to you guys is the valve job is the most important thing here, and then if we take and change the seats, you can see the different, how we've enhanced the airflow here. We've tried some different seat angles. And this, like I said, all we've done is change the seat and did a little bit of pocket porting. We've got, the, it was at about 230. We've got, we pulled it up to about 245 on the intake. On the exhaust, uh, it's kind of strange here. It's a little weak uh, at the first lift, up out to the 300 lift, and then we're starting to enhance the airflow up here on the top. Uh, in the next uh, video we'll go through and we'll do some port work and I'll explain to you some of the things that we do to try to enhance the, the ports to, to uh, get better airflow in that. So, but one thing I also want to stress, you do not want to make them ports as big as possible because we don't want to lose port velocity. 